Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, it's your brother Muslah Khan here And we're going into tip number three In memorizing the Qur'an The third tip is extremely important And that is, there's actually two points that I want to mention The first one is Choose a proper Mus'haf Choose a proper Qur'an Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Well, choosing a proper Qur'an entails a number of things Number one it's your Qur'an, you own it. So don't just go to a local masjid and just pick out a random Qur'an and then start sitting there with your shaykh and just reading it. Then before you know it, you put it back, next day you come, you find a different mushaf. And then you do the same thing with that. Make, get your own personal mushaf that belongs to you. Write your name in it, whatever it is. And the reason why I say that is very simple. Remember now, your photographic memory is going to be exercised more than anything else. When you memorize from one mushaf that has the same color pages, the right text and everything, when you start memorizing, that's what it is. Memorizing is these pages now are gonna to start to turn in your mind. So you're gonna be leading the salah, you're gonna be leading the taraweeh, and you're gonna see those pages turn in front of you or in your mind. So you wanna make sure that you start to train your mind to get used to one mushaf and one one color only so that way you can avoid any confusion and things like that remember this is a real old school tip even scholars in the past imams of the haram this is what they've all done as well so you want to make sure you get a proper mushaf the second sub point behind that is choosing a teacher now choosing a teacher for sure I guess we don't really have to mention this but at least you want to make sure that the person can actually recite Quran properly and the reason why I say that is you might find some teachers who are very fluent in the rules of Tajweed or in the rules of the Quran but they can't really recite that well or you'll find somebody who recites very well but doesn't really know the rules of Tajweed you want to find somebody who's got both especially with the recitation of Qur'an they're very uh, eloquent in their recitation very clear in their pronunciation and even if they just have some basic rules of Tajweed or principles of recitation then that's fine as well they don't have to be extremely fluent in that uh, uh, science as well so you want to make sure that when you find a teacher like that male or female whatever uh, makes you comfortable in Inshallah, and then you sit down, set up a schedule, and then you can begin your journey towards Qur'an. So these two tips, extremely, extremely important. May Allah Azza wa Jal make it easy for all of you. It's tip number four, guys. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.